Okay, we're looking at the second page of x versus t graphs. Now we have two different graphs of our two cyclists. This is our old one, and this is our new one. So we want to know how the motion of cyclist A in the new graph compares to the uh, motion of A in the, in the previous one. So the previous one there, the new one here. They look to be about the same speed because they're um, about the same uh, steepness, right? The, the number of the, the numerical value of the slope, the absolute value of the slope, is about the same. But uh, the second one is moving the opposite direction. Because the slope there is negative, which means it's moving the other direction since so the first one's positive. So how does the motion of B compare? Uh, they look about the same. Okay. Which cyclist has the greater speed? Um, uh, since uh, we think the, the speeds are about the same in both, um, it's A. It's steeper x versus t graph in both. So the velocities for the A riders are different because the directions are different, but the speeds are the same for the two graphs. What is happening at the intersection of lines A and B? Again, um, A and B are passing or crossing or whatever you want to call it. They're at the same spot at, at that moment. All right, which cyclist traveled a greater distance during the first five seconds? Um, the first five seconds are here. So the, the place that I find distance or displacement is on the x-axis, which is the vertical one. So that's my displacement of rider A. The final position minus the initial position would be the displacement. Here's my displacement of B. Final position minus the initial position. The A's displacement is negative because that final position is l lower than the initial position. B's is positive because the final is higher than the initial. But A has clearly gone a greater distance. Um, B's displacement would be bigger because it's positive and the other one's negative. But in terms of distance traveled, distance traveled is always uh, positive. So we take the absolute value.